Guess what guys, the Unreal Engine 5.3 is finally here and what you're looking at right here on the screen is something that is out of the Unreal Engine 5.3 in real time guys. This is uh, captured in real time in the viewport using an A6000, RTX A6000 and look at that. You know, we we are so close to realism, like it's amazing. There's so many cool things that they've added, like rigging, you know, the skeletal uh, components and bonds and, and being able to just make adjustments like that. I'm part of the Unreal Fellowship right now and we're learning a lot of these things that are, are currently being updated from 5.2 to 5.3. But it's amazing what we're going to be able to do. So if you're coming from the uh, Maya 3ds Max Cinema 4D Blender, you're going to find this really, really helpful. And the, re the rendering itself, they've updated Lumen. And I'll show you some of the things that uh, they were talking about. Let's switch over to this other side. So th there are so many cool things that they've added. Let's go back to the top <laughs> over here. So they released this on uh, September 6th, but there's so many categories like sectors, architecture, automotive and transportation, broadcast, film and TV games, like so many areas that have been touched on and new features that have been added. So when you get a chance, go to this link and check out this video showcasing some of the things that uh, they've added. And I'll show you some of the highlights here, like multi-process cooking. You know, that is, that's one of those things that you, we look for when we're trying to take the advantage of the hardware that we have. This is going to be helpful in for, for when you're creating more, your films and cinematics and things like that. And then, of course, the sign cam rig rail. So I've been trying to do this uh, manually. But being able to see that they've added this in 5.3 and having been able to create a curve where you can mount the rail. Now, I come from a cinematography background, so this is going to be extremely helpful for those of you who are filmmakers and storytellers and you're used to holding like camera rigs. This is exactly what it's going to help you do. And you can see an example of that in uh, some of the samples that they've given. And then we have the VCAM enhancements. This is awesome because you get to shoot your scene uh, as if you are like a cameraman and be able to do autofocus and change the lenses and things like that. So there's a major update with that one. And then of, there are some experimental features like cinematic quality volum volumetric rendering. So things like uh, smoke and volumes are like a tornado, explosions, like you, you get a sense that this is volumetric, that is not like a patchwork of 2D things that are being put on the screen, that is actual volumetric. And that's an amazing thing that they've been they've added support for. And then orthographic rendering, that is really cool. Like if you're trying to uh, demonstrate an idea, it's like getting that flat look, almost like a, a orthographic games, you know. And then of course, the skeletal editor. This is extremely helpful because if you have a character that you've created in ZBrush, you're able to bring it in here and then be able, able, uh, be able to create a new skeleton and paint weight. That is inc incredibly helpful. That Something that wasn't there in the Unreal Engine that you could truly, really, like, it's like almost like coming from Maya. And then now you feel at home in the Unreal Engine 5.3. And then of course you have panel based chaos cloth with ML simulation. Like every single time, I mean, there, there's so many requests on improving cloth inside of the Unreal Engine, and I think this is a, a like a good pathway towards that. I can't wait to play with this as well. And you can see some of that, the simulation working and and display support for SMPTE. So if you guys would do virtual production, there's something for you in here as well. <laughs> And so many others. So you can go to this the release notes over here and see more of like in detail what they've added, like nanite rendering. You can see the differences there. Like you see how this like pixelation on the, on the corner right here. Because of nanite, they're able to get rid of that. And then of course lumen. We didn't get like on the right hand side is the previous lumen. This is the new lumen where you can get like uh, reflections with the actual shadows. You know, like truly, like, sorry, on the left <laughs> and on, on the right, you can see the, the comparison between the new lumen. So you can, you get like true reflections, you know, not something that is messed up on the left. So this is exactly what you want to see in reflections and things like that. So, and then of course, the orthographic rendering, experimental, the sparse volume textures, path tracer. It, man, this is a big deal. <laughs> Substrate, experimental. Okay. Please 
hair. I know. <laughs> so when you get a chance, guys, try the, I mean, just go to these links. And if you want to do a deep dive, go ahead and do that. Now, how you install this, you simply have to go to your Epic Games launcher. Go to engine versions. You can see that I've already installed it on my end over here. So all you got to do is press the install button right here. It will show up on this side. So if you drop down this arrow, you're going to see the, vo the version that it's going to be. So it will be 5.3. So all of these that I've installed, I'm probably going to get rid of 5.03 now that 5.3 has come. But that's how you get to install it. So it will show up when you're done. And the cool thing is that uh, Quixel Bridge has been updated, which means you'll be able to import your MetaHumans for the MetaHuman creator. And also the MetaHuman plugin, which means that we'll be able to use the MetaHuman animator inside of the Unreal Engine 5.3. So that is a big deal. So thank you so much for joining me again today. I was just sh sharing you, with you an amazing, amazing uh, video that I've just, I just saw online showing the results of what is possible now in the Unreal Engine 5.3, being able to get realistic renders that are mind-blowing, you know. So as I, I mean, I, I'm always looking out for ways that we can always tell our stories more convincingly. And I think the Unreal Engine 5.3 is one of those breakthrough moments. It's going to make this a much bigger platform for us to be able to tell our stories, create episodes, create short films, cinematics, you name it. And being able to like see the rig in real time, not wait for a render to see how it will turn out. This is, you're doing this in real time. Being able to do this and check how the light is going to affect the leg once you twist that bone and teeth. It's amazing. Epic Games, you've done it again. Thank you so much, guys, again for joining me. If you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to all my patrons out there, guys. I much love to all the subscribers. Stay blessed and dare to dream big. What an amazing time to be alive, right? <laughs>